Hey everyone, so let's sublimate this luggage cover. Um, I got it from Primetime Sublimation and um, of course it's all white and this is what it looks like on the front and this is what it looks like on the back. I'm only going to sublimate the front this time uh, for this tutorial. All right, and I already have my image that I want and of course I tiled it. Um, and now I'm going to just basically cut my image, cut off the pieces that I don't need. So you'll get to see me do that. And in my program, I work in silhouette. And what I do is when I tile it, I overlap it. I hold down shift and to the left to overlap just a little bit. Now I need to use my rotary cutter and my ruler to just cut, barely cut off any of the image, just barely. You don't want any white left over. All right, so I have it lined up where I want it. And the ruler helps me get a straight line. All right, so you see that cut. Now I'm going to get this part of the image and I'm going to overlap and I'm going to line it up where it should go. So you see this row of rhinestones. I'm going to line this row of this sheet with that. That way I know is exactly where I want it to be. Just going to use a piece of heat tape just to hold it in place. I need to bring it down just a tad bit. Okay, that's good enough for me. And I'm going to do a long strip to put on the back. Since I already have that sheet lined up. I'm just going to fold this over just slightly. Take my tape, put it underneath of one side, the back side, halfway. You want it half on, half off the sheet. And now I'm going to bring my image back down, make sure it's still lined up properly, and then I'm going to press down. So that way the tape can stick on the back. There's different ways of doing it, but that's how I do. That's how I do it for me. All right, let's slide this out of the way. And I have the bottom half. When I tiled it, it I could fit two images on one sheet. So I'm just cutting it apart basically. So I can get my two. Again, we want to cut off this side barely. Line your ruler up. Cut. Put your trash where it belongs. And I need to, yep, I'm going to cut the top piece off where it's going to connect to the top half. So I'm going to line it up. it off make sure there's no white looks good to me and I'm going to do the same thing for this half and since I already cut off the white on this side there's no need to cut it off this side because I'm going to join it together like this okay but I do need to cut this top half off so just barely line it up and cut looks good to me and I am going to I'm going to go ahead and put these two together before I attach it to the top see how I like that now with this one just trying to line it up where it overlaps at Hopefully that's the right spot. If not, we can always adjust. 
<clears throat> and where there is a little bit of white space here at the bottom, that's where I put my tape at. Actually, I need to bring it down just a tad bit. And that's to hold it in place. All right, I'm gonna fold this side up. Try not to move it too much. Get my long strip of tape. Lift this up. Try not to move it too much, but just lift it up. Put half of the tape on, half off. And then you just roll your other piece back down, lining it up back up where you had it, and press down so the tape can adhere to the other side. All right, you see that? Now I'm going to take our top half, and we're going to line this up. And I see where there is some white i mean some tape some tape wants to tape and white if you see a little bit of tape or white hanging off just cut it off ah, be careful though i don't have my scissors nearby so that's why i'm using this rotary cutter for that part all right now we already have our white cut off on this part, so we can go ahead and lay it in place. And I see you want to kind of look and see what um, resembles on the back and on the front, so that way you can have an idea where to slide it up at. And just take your time trying to align it so it doesn't look crazy. All right. Don't know if I need to take it down, up. Hold on. I might need to do it this way. Nope. All right, I think. Something is not aligning right, but you just keep on going until you figure out where this crap goes. Oh, I didn't take it up high enough, I think. Okay, about right. There, I think. And that's where it's going to go for me. Nope, it's not. All right, why is this? What's wrong with this thing? I think about right there. Yep, right there, that's perfect. All right, so I have it lined up where I want it to be. Some things just require patience. So if you don't have any, this is not for you. All right, so I'm just putting tape on the edge just to um, connect my two sides. And I'm putting it on the side of this one and I'm going to flip it over so that way I can go ahead and take the back. It's already in place where I want it to be so I can get my long strips of uh, tape and take down the back end. All 
And I usually try to put tape all the way across that seam most of the time because I don't know if that helps with like the um, that white line or not. So I just do it just in case. All right, put it up here. All right, so we have it all taped down. Well, except for one spot. have it all taped down on the back let's take a look at the front just to make sure it's like we want it to be and everything lines up perfectly okay and what I did was I I cut out a uh, template all right camera focus I cut out a template so it can go in the inside of the luggage cover just to hold it open because it has this, um, what's this thing called? The stretchy piece right here. And it doesn't want to lay flat. So that's why I made the template for it to go on the inside. But you always want to lint roll. This is, um... has a zipper on the bottom so you we are going to um put the zipper hang, let the zipper hang over our heat press just in case if it melts we don't want it to melt should i say okay so it's lint roll and i'm going to put my template in And once I have my template in the inside, and that also prevents it from bleeding on the other side. So once I have my template in, I'll take it over to my heat press and then we'll press it in, see the results. All right, so it's all uh, taped down on my template, which I do have to make some adjustments uh, since this is my first time making one of these. And I'm gonna lay it flat with the Craft of Besties paper on top. CB should see you. Okay. And you always want to protect your equipment. I have butcher paper, pre-cut butcher paper, 18 by 24, that lays perfectly on top of my platen of my heat press, which you can find on my website at craftsmatepersonal.com. And, um, so I have one on the bottom, and I'm going to put one on the top, just to protect the top of my heat press. All right, and um, I'm going to put it down just to see if my pressure is good. Yeah, it's good. So I'm going to let this um, press for 400 degrees, 60 seconds. That part is pressed, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate it. I should have had my board. So, crap. Hopefully it doesn't ghost on me. But I'm going to take this off. Ooh, hot. And you see how the, um, the overhang of the ink got on this? That's exactly why you want to protect your, your machine. So I'm going to get another sheet of paper, butcher paper, cover the bottom, and then I'm just going to rotate it, and let's see how I want to do this. I'm, I'm, I'll probably just double press, just to see. It's my first time. So I'm going to have my, what do you call this thing? My zipper hanging off, but everything else is still on there. Covered up with butcher paper and press. Hopefully it doesn't uh, ghost or slide or whatever. We'll see. All right, so it's done. Let's see how it came out. 
I do need to make some adjustments, like I said, to my, I was calling it a template, not my template, my jig. One spot, messed up. Actually, two spots. But that's what it looks like. See, it um, didn't press good in this area. So it's a little bit light right there. But other than that, and I have to make my template just a little bit longer to cover that side, to cover this piece. But other than that, it came out great. Great, 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 great. All right, so if you have any questions, um, just let me know, as always. And I'll post a picture of it on my suitcase. All right, bye.